Hello, this is Dr. Stephen Cohen, and this is a high-definition video of a vitrectomy surgery for a macular pucker. This surgery is being done with local anesthesia. The patient's sedated and feels no discomfort during the procedure. The first step in a 25-gauge vitrectomy surgery is placement of these blue trocars that allow the instruments to be passed easily in and out of the eye during the procedure. This surgery is done using a microscope looking through the pupil. There you see the vitrectomy probe on the left side of the screen. Here a 25 gauge forceps has been introduced into the eye and the epiretinal membrane is grasped using the forcep and gently peeled off the macula. Peeling a macular pucker off of the retina is not unlike removing a piece of scotch tape from a piece of paper or from a piece of glass. Basically the membrane is grasped and peeled and then the edges are each grasped and by following the edges and gently pulling the membrane away from the macula, the membrane can be elevated and safely removed from the eye. This macular pucker was particularly delicate and the forceps was tearing the macular pucker a little bit so I used the vitrectomy probe and the suction to pull the macular pucker toward the periphery of the macula and once the macular pucker was far away from the center of the macula I used the vitrectomy probe to cut it back uh, rather than trying to tear it away from the macula. Here you see the probe being turned after pulling the macular pucker away there it's being used to cut back the macular pucker and this is very far from the center of the macula. At the conclusion of the case a small air bubble is placed in the eye. I hope you found this video instructive. There's much more information on macular puckers at the website macularpucker.com.